Hello everyone. Winnie and I are back from our girls trip. It went really well. I will have footage of our girls trip after this quick little chat. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update and let you know how it went and what's to come. I didn't film too much while on our girls trip because I was really trying to absorb it. I knew it wasn't going to be the longest trip so I really wanted to be in the moment and it was so special. It was such nice bonding for Winnie and I and for uh, us with Mel's family. And Kyle and Ellis stayed behind because Ellis had school and we didn't want him to miss it. But they had a boys week which was really fun. Kyle made it really fun. Ellis had an extra day off of school this week so they went to the Natural History Museum and they had so much fun. Ellis got Winnie a souvenir from there. This really cute dinosaur. <laughs> I thought it was so cute. It has a little jewel. Like the trolls when we were kids. Anyways, we had fun. They had fun. They also watched Star Wars. They went to some vegan burger joint that they'd never tried. They got milkshakes. They just had a lot of fun, and then we did too. It was my first time traveling alone on an airplane with a three-year-old, with and then I all, all while having cancer, and it. Oh, the neighbor's doing yard work. It went really well. I have no complaints. It was hard doing it all as a cancer patient. Someone going through chemo. I did it a little too close to chemo, so I was weak and sick <laughs> but I pushed through and it was worth it when we were waiting in line to get our boarding passes it was really hot at that airport and I struggle with heat during cancer treatment and so and my muscle strength isn't what it used to be so I had to sit while waiting in line sit on the floor because I didn't have like a walker or anything with me so you know Sometimes it's a bummer to see cancer rubbed in my face like that I'm not as strong as I used to be. And then I had to carry around our two backpacks throughout the airport. And Kyle usually does that sort of stuff because I'm not as strong as I used to be. And the backpacks, they were just filled with, you know, minimal clothing and a few toiletries. And they were just a little too heavy for me but I, I was able to pull through next time I'll have to get backpacks with wheels because <laughs> it was hard um, but when he was an absolute angel she had to walk all through the airport no carrying because I can't physically carry her as much like I can hold her for a little bit but I can't like carry her from point A to point B it's not gonna happen so she did all the walking and she was really understanding about it and so well behaved. Last time I flew on one of these smaller airplanes, I had an anxiety attack because I'm now claustrophobic from tr cancer treatment. And on my way out to Oregon, I didn't, I did take anxiety medicine and I didn't have an anxiety attack. On the way home from Oregon, I didn't take anxiety medicine and I didn't have an anxiety attack. So I was really proud of myself. I felt really good about it. Melanie and her family, they were wonderful. They had a car seat for Winnie. They picked us up from the airport. They did all the cooking for us. Melanie made Yoda bread for Winnie, baby Yoda bread and Baby Yoda cookies for Winnie because Winnie loves Baby Yoda. Winnie had great bonding time with Mel's kids. Melanie and I had great bonding time. Winnie and I had great bonding time. It was just wonderful. Um, I had great bonding time with Melanie's kids. She has the best kids ever. They're like truly so kind. Great humans. And then today I am going to see River like right now I'm about to leave and go see River. I'm so excited to see him. I miss him and my sister. I miss her a lot Next week I have a brain MRI to check on the status of my cancer and it is already eating me up I was going to film last night um, uh, This little update 
and I was too anxious. I couldn't do it. So I went to bed early and to run away from my feelings. <laughs> and I'm terrified for next week's brain MRI. It's already eating me up. So if you have any tips on how to get through this week of waiting, week of anticipation, leave it in the comments because I could really use advice. I know you guys left advice on how to get through a brain MRI last time I had one and it was also helpful. So if you guys have any tips on how to get through the week waiting for the brain MRI, that would be great if you would leave them in the comments because I need help. I'm so scared. I'm terrified. I'm having all scary thoughts go through my head. And um, I'm scared for the actual brain MRI. If you don't know, I've had an anxiety attack. Well, multiple <laughs> anxiety attacks while in brain MRIs. I don't like them. So last time I did it, you guys gave me a bunch of tips to how to get through it and I didn't have an anxiety attack so that was great and I I'm going to take anxiety medicine for it but I still need help with how to get through the week and cope how to health healthily cope cope in a healthy way so any advice would be greatly appreciated would I travel with a three-year-old alone again yes because for some reason my kids are so good when it comes to traveling. They're so well behaved. I'm so grateful for that. But I told Kyle while we were on the trip, let's never separate ever again because I miss you and Ella so much. My heart feels empty when we're not all together. Like it feels like there's a missing part of it when we're not all together. So I told him I never want to travel without him again. I really missed Kyle and Ellis and so did Winnie. And though it was nice to have alone time with Winnie, man, did I miss our boys. And they seem to miss us as well. So I would do it again because my kids travel so well and they're so good. It was scary traveling as the only adult while I have cancer because if anything went wrong, like I had a big fear about if something went wrong, when he's stranded alone. So that was hard on me mentally. But I got through it and nothing bad happened. But I I would travel again with just a, myself and a kid if I didn't want so badly to be with Kyle always and Ellis and Winnie. I love when we're all together. I just, I love my family. What's your name? Winnie. Winnie. And... Where did we go for our girls' trip? Um, um, Auntie Melanie's house. Auntie Melanie's house. And who went? Was it just me and you? Was it Daddy and Ellis and Winnie and Mommy? Who was it? Winnie and Mommy. Winnie and Mommy. Yeah. And what did we call it? Girls' trip. Girls' trip. And did, what did you think of girls' trip? Good. It was good? What was your favorite part about Girl's Trip? Mm, baby Yoda cookies. The Baby Yoda cookies? Who made you Baby Yoda cookies? Mm, Auntie Mommy. Oh, did that make you feel special? Mm, yeah. And did she put sprinkles on some of Baby Yoda's ears? Yeah, did you like the sprinkles? Yeah. <laughs> would you go on a Girl's Trip again with me? Uh -huh. You would? You think it was fun? Uh -huh. I love you. Thank you for doing a girl's trip with me. Bye. You're my favorite Winnie girl. Mama, this is Sophie. Were you making faces with the kids at the airport? Which one? Remember the kids at the airport that you were making silly faces with? No. The boy that was running around with his sister? Yeah, I remember that. You remember? <laughs> did you like did you like going on an airplane? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Do you want to tell them anything? I tell you that I'm really Huh? I tell you that I'm really Potato dog and baby Yoda. Oh, potato dog. And then we have this cute baby Yoda that 
we all are obsessed with in our house because watch ready <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. Yeah, good luck. Bye, good luck. Here are some clips of our girls' trip.
Winnie, thank you for going on this special girls trip with mommy. I had so much fun with you. You are my angel. I am so proud to be your mommy. Thank you for being such a sweet girl. I had so much fun with you and I can't wait to make so many more memories with you. I love you.